Hey, it's Alicia Joy, AdventurousNerd.com, and I decided to record this really quick video um, specifically for people who are always coming up with new ideas and you're always interested in new things, like myself and probably you if you're watching this. But you don't know what to do when you come up with these great ideas, a new project maybe you should do, or you want to, it could be anything. Maybe you want to learn a language, maybe write a book, or... Um, a new income stream idea, whatever it is, but then it's kind of like this overwhelm. You know, how how do I know if this is really something I should do? And why do I want to do it? And um, how do I fit this in? I already have so much on my plate. So that's why I recorded this, to give you like a really practical tip. A lot of times we end up doing nothing when we come up with these ideas. We may initially think about doing it for a little while and we're excited. But then it's like, wow, I already have 50 million things going on and how in the world would I really fit this into my schedule? Um, not to mention, is this really something that I want to do for putting all that time and energy and effort? I just can't do it right now. So then we end up doing nothing, right? So this um, tip is really inspired by uh, Barbara Scheer. She's really a spectacular person, if you've never heard of her. She's a coach and she's um, a best-selling author. But she has a book, and I'm going to show it to you, and I'll link to it right below this video. But this, this book um, is called Refuse to Choose by Barbara Shear. And this book literally changed my life. <laughs> it's all for people who, you know, get engaged in many different things, many different interests, and oftentimes we feel like, what's wrong with me? Because society says that, that's not really right. Um, but then she says it's okay to be that way. And in fact, you can be productive in that way. So this really was like started my whole journey years ago. But anyway, my Renaissance journey. So in the book, Barbara Shear talks about how when we come up with these ideas, we don't have to do them right now. I'm not sure whether this comes from, obviously we're in this society where it's like instant gratification and we want this and we want it now and we can get things very fast, we can get access to information very fast, um, changes are happening really fast, there's so much, you know, quick things that are going on, I almost think we're on like this overdrive. But when we come up with this new idea, let's, let's get concrete, let's say it's that you want to maybe write a book or write a report or whatever it is. First, of course, there are some questions that you need to ask yourself. Do I really want to do this? Why do I want to do this? And then, of course, you need to determine if you actually have the, the space for it in your life right now. And if you don't, that's okay. You don't need to, you know, kind of beat yourself up as some people do because they think, oh, another great idea that I won't be able to get to. Perhaps you will get to it, but it's okay if you can't get to it now. All you have to do is just create a space, I call this. Um, so whether that's a binder, a physical binder that you start using, or an electronic um, folder, some folders on, on your computer, because you're going to store things in this. This could also be Evernote. If you've never heard of Evernote, um, it's an electronic, it's a software that you gain access to via the internet. I use it a lot and it's extremely helpful for me, for my own productivity. Maybe I'll record a video about how I use it. But anyway, um, I'll put a link to Evernote below this video also. But what you can do is then this new project, this book, whatever it is, you can create this space and you can save whenever you come across articles related to it or, you know, you hear other ideas or you come up with other ideas related to that. You could just store them in that place and know that it's sitting there and that's all right. You aren't going to tackle this right now, but one day perhaps you will when that space opens up for you in your life. But you know that you've already created this, this area, this space. It could also be a physical space in your house. Um... And I, I think that kind of just helps the brain, it helps us to know that, okay, we've done something about this idea. Even if we've decided that right now is not the time, we've done something about that. So that's, that's what you do. That's, that's the tip that has really helped me <laughs> to understand that every idea that I come up with right now doesn't have to be done right now. And that's okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And if you want more tips on how to be productive or how to continue to learn, discover, and grow in your life, head on over to adventurousnerd.com. Thank you for watching.